Hey survivors, Skippy0330 here again. Uh, welcome back to my tutorial world. Uh, you guys did uh, request, uh, you guys said you wanted to see a let's play. So it is official guys, we are starting a let's play. I know we're starting out here on uh, day 8. Uh, if this is your first time to my let's play guys, you might want to check out my tutorial series. I do from day 1 uh, all the way to day 7 and I... Uh, I'm continuing from there for my Let's Play. Uh, so I want to welcome everybody. I want to thank you as well, too, for all your comments, all your likes, and, and everything else. The support has been just amazing. So I want to thank you guys for that, first of all. Uh, so in this episode, uh, what I think I'm going to uh, concentrate on is, is getting to know you guys and uh, you guys getting to know me. As well, too, um, I need to do some more more scouting here in this general area. I, I think I'm going to actually end up leaving the city and heading towards the, the main hub city. Uh, and seeing how that goes. Because this city isn't that great. There's not that much water here. There's, uh, you know, I have a temporary base, but I don't really plan on staying there. So what I'm going to do, guys, in this episode is uh, we're going to do a little bit of scouting. And while we're out doing that, uh, we're going to, uh, we're gonna, I guess, uh, talk and, and get to know each other here. Uh, so I, I know a lot of people ask me to uh, why or how I started my YouTube channel, why I got here. Uh, back in 2014, I was uh, really into uh, fishing and mountain biking and I was a, a really active person. I still am. Uh, but back in 2014, I was mountain biking out to go to my favorite fishing spot. And while I was climbing down a rock face, I got my ankle stuck uh, in, a, in between a couple rocks, slipped on another one, and snap, there goes my ankle. Uh, so I was hung up for the entire summer, which was a huge bummer, and actually I was pretty depressed by uh, uh, a couple months in. So after a while, my friend's like, you know what, why don't you just pick up a game console and, and come play games with us? You know, at least, at least it'll, it'll give you something to do. Because by that time, too, I haven't watched everything on Netflix, and I, I couldn't... Like, just watching TV that much is just, it's too much. Uh, but anyway, someone uh, said, you know, you should you should get yourself a console. So I, I picked up the PS4. I was like, why not, right? If I'm stuck here, I may as well do something. Uh, so I, I picked up the PS4. And then I, I didn't even have a, really a game to play. Like, I've had the PS3, but um, it was always in the, in the living room and my roommates played it. I didn't really play it that, that much at all. Uh, but I had a, a PS3 and then I picked up the PS4. Um, I didn't have a PS3 at this time, but I did pick up the the PS4, and once I got that, I was kind of going through the game menus, and I didn't really know what to buy. I didn't want to invest a lot of money in, in some games I might not be into. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, once I uh, once I got my PS4, I was going through the menu, and I found this game called Minecraft, and I was like, uh, 20 bucks, yeah, why not? So I, I picked it up, and I was instantly hooked, like instantly hooked. I think I spent... A week straight playing that game like literally a week straight 12 hours a day playing it and uh, I got to know a few people along the line and then uh, I made a few friends we started building together and then one day someone said you know what you're, you're pretty decent at this you should uh, you should stream this and I was like stream what the hell is a stream and they're like you, you go to this website and other people can watch you playing games and that boggled my mind at this point in time I didn't I didn't use YouTube um, I didn't know people streamed I didn't know any of that uh, so I was kind of like okay so I did it right they're like just press the share button man you know sign up for an account press the share button and within a month of starting streaming I had gained 5,000 followers on Twitch uh, now, still not knowing what the heck I was doing, I um, I decided, okay, well, this is this is pretty cool. I, I can dig this, so I started streaming a lot, and that went really well. And then my Twitch broke, and people weren't getting notifications. I was online; it wasn't showing me online, and my Twitch career quickly ended at that point. Uh, it was very broken. You know, I I tried to get some help from Twitch, but they 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 weren't doing much for me. And I was just, uh, frankly, almost like completely disappointed at that point in time, kind of discouraged, you know what I mean? I had uh, put all this work into Twitch, and they just kind of bailed on me. But uh, the past is the past, so what I did was I met this guy named Skippy6Gaming off YouTube, and we decided to stream together, you know, he would, uh, because he was YouTube and I was Twitch, we would kind of promote each other, you know, a win-win situation. And that went well, and he introduced me to YouTube as well, too. Uh, so once I got into the, uh, I really wish my leg wasn't broken. <laughs> uh, once 
once I got into uh, YouTube, I, I did a few videos, you know what I mean? Like, if you guys go watch my first video, it was absolutely horrid. I actually used the mic that came with the PlayStation 4 to do my recording. Oh, that thunder, guys. Sorry if that's incredibly loud. Uh, but I actually used my uh, the mic to do that recording, and it's absolutely horrid. I actually went and watched my first videos the other day with my buddy where <laughs> we were laughing. Uh, but we all start out from somewhere, right? And where the heck did this airdrop go? Um... So that, that went well, right? And I just kind of kept on making YouTube videos and doing that kind of stuff. And, you know, you know it, went, it went fairly well. And then I discovered other, uh, other ga survival games as well, too, guys. So if you do see other games on my channel, I do PC and I do console. I'm not a PC Master Race guy and I'm not a console Master Race guy. I am not a fanboy in the least little bit, so you'll never see me fanboying either way. Uh, both, have, both have their uh, good attributes, so I mean... What are you going to do here? Oh, I'm overheating. I need to get out of this biome. Um, <laughs> this biome, guys, uh, biome, guys, seems like it's glitched. Uh, so try to stay out of it. Uh, I might actually die for the first time on my map here just from heatstroke. Uh, but, yeah, so anyways, uh, that brings us up to today here. Uh, when I started, I started doing seven days to die as well, too. Uh, and now that I have uh, seven days to die, my channel's booming a little bit, which is really, really nice. I mean, it's it's all really you guys that, that are doing it. Uh, so, I mean, I, I really appreciate that. I, I don't know if I could say that enough. Uh, take a quick look at my map here. I'm trying to decide in which direction I want to go. Because uh, this base you guys seen here, it is not permanent. That's why I never put up the, um, the spider defenses, like the iron bars running along the sides. It would have been a waste of resources for me. Uh, so I absolutely did not want to do that. Uh, but what I want to do here, because I want to head towards the hub, is I want to go to zero, zero. Uh, so I, I got to go south to get to zero and west to get to zero. So um, I'm still far away from the hub. I think I'm on the outlines of uh, outskirts of the map here. Uh, but I'm going to do some more, some more discovering here. Uh, so now you guys kind of know, you know, how I started the YouTube and how that came around. And it, it, it I'd honestly, I love video editing. It's, it's become a, a bit of a passion for me. Uh, so yeah, you know, any constructive uh, comments you guys can leave would be great as well too, like what you guys want to see. Uh, I haven't really done too much on Let's Plays, uh, so this is a whole new world to me as well. <laughs> I don't want to bore you guys with a whole bunch of talk and, and not much action. So if you guys want to see more of something, you want to see less of something, always let me know down in the comments here. Uh, but what I'm going to do guys, uh, is, I, is I'm going to do more walking around here. I'm going to go look around, see if I can find uh, anything of value. Um, any water sources because if I don't have a water source close to the city I am definitely not staying here um, and I've already looted everything so the the loot won't respawn I have it on 30 days uh, so I actually have to leave this city go find another city and then eventually I can come back here and reloot everything uh, but yeah guys I'm gonna go do some more discovering here uh, I'm gonna do some more running around and once I've got that done I'll meet up with you guys here and then uh, we'll go over what I found Okay, so I got lucky here. I found meat and the care package right beside each other. Uh, so I just want to kind of show you guys this. This is really cool. Uh, very lucky because I, I need some food as well here too. Um, I keep overheating, so I have to uh, I have to stop and, and rest a little bit to get my uh, my heat back down. I still haven't found. Um, I need to go find a desert nearby as well too, so that I have. Uh, uh, so that I can make some yucca juice and, and stay cool here, it's, especially with the uh, the temperature glitch. I hope they fix that soon. Um, as of this point in time, there is definitely a, um, a temperature glitch, that is for sure. Oh, look at this, a sniper rifle. Oh my god, look at that, guys. Right off the bat, nice sniper rifle right out of the supply chest. That is epic. I am so incredibly pumped about that. Nice. Okay, so I'm definitely going to keep that. It also gave me a whole shitload of rounds as well, too. That's freaking cool as hell. Uh, but I actually didn't make it far here, guys. If I open up my map... I'm just, like, still very close to home. Uh, so I'm going to continue wandering about here a little bit more, guys. And I will meet back up with you uh, once I find something interesting. Okay, guys, so I made it back home alive, uh, a little past curfew, it's, it's like 2 a.m., uh, but I fortunately didn't have too, too many run-ins, and I was able to defend myself when I did have the run-ins, uh, so I'm all good, uh, but my leg is still broken, and it's frustratingly slow to do some exploring, uh, so what I'm going to do, I think, is go, uh, go up, because, I mean, um, I didn't find anything good. 
Uh, but what I did find, uh, we'll open up the map here. Uh, I ended up going around in a circle like this because I, I mean, I didn't, I wasn't able to get very far. That literally took me all night. So I'm going to have to really late, wait till my leg is healed to make any good progress. Uh, but I think I'm going to go discovering a little more north uh, because there seems to be a lot of forest and burnt, um, burnt forest biome uh, wasteland uh, around this area. So I'm hoping north there's at least a desert. That way I can get some. Uh, um, some yucca to, uh, to cool myself down or at least a water source so I can go get some buckets bring it back and make myself a water source here close to home uh, that way I won't have to worry about water uh, but I don't know guys what do you what do you guys think do you think I should uh, move on maybe to another city um, I, this is not my permanent base by any means I, I plan on making a separate base by itself outside of the city uh, but I'm not sure if I want to stay here yet or not uh, but I was actually really, um, really successful with that run. I found a couple treasure maps. I got that sniper rifle. I got a whole buttload of meat, um, a whole bunch of animal hide. I don't want that fat. Honestly, I, I'll never use it at this point. I got a lot of nitrate, a lot of coal. Um, I'm going to keep making some gunpowder here so I can increase my skills. And then what I'm going to do too is uh, get my meat going as well. I definitely need some food here and I'm uh, starting to starve so that's, that's probably a good idea. Uh, now at this point though I'm after day 7 so I have to be real careful because I will get screamers. Um, I will get some attention here if um, if I keep the fireplace running too long and the forge running too long. Uh, so always keep that in mind too. After day 14 you have a heat map. Uh, now basically what the heat map is, is not actual heat itself as in temperature, it's how much attention you're gaining uh, from zombies. Uh, so stuff like building, making noise, shooting guns, um, anything along those lines, especially running forages and campfires. See my, my forage here is running for no reason so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn that off. Uh, running forages and campfires will increase your heat map. That's uh, that'll increase your zombie attention. And if you guys haven't seen a screamer yet, what a screamer is? It's a, a little a little um, girl zombie. Uh, she she has a white dress on, and she screams. And when she sees you and she screams, she calls in a horde. Uh, now you have about 20 seconds to take that screamer down until she screams again, and then you get another horde that's bigger and has uh, more tougher zombies in it. And if you still don't manage to do that. 20 seconds after that she'll scream again and then you'll just be engulfed by hordes um, now that's not necessarily a bad thing I actually like to build like um, like little traps not traps per se but uh, um, a base away from my base where I can actually go on horde night and take on the hordes like that or go and kill screamers just just for loot right like actually get their attention on purpose uh, just to take out hordes uh, to get the loot from them um, I actually will have a uh, best base design video coming out uh, tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, what date is it here? <laughs> Time's flying so much. July 9th, I'll have a video coming out on a good base design. So look forward to that as well here too, guys. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, continue cooking up here. Uh, maybe take a look too because I'm going to start wanting to upgrade my, uh, my tools to steal. Uh, so I'm going to take a quick look at my character and see how many points I have here so I can uh, spend some skills. Oh, that is not skill points. Here we go. All right, so uh, the steel making is under tool and tools and traps. Yeah, I still can't do uh, steel tools yet. I need to get my construction tools up. Uh, so what is a good idea to do to get your construction tools up if you can't build at this moment, if you don't have much resources? Uh, while you're out farming uh, materials, instead of using your, uh, your pickaxe, actually use a, uh, a stone axe. Uh, because what, what that'll do, I, I'm going to actually steal one here because I've made a whole bunch. Um, what that'll do is you'll still be able to collect resources quite quickly. And it'll also increase your uh, construction tools. Because this is considered a construction tool, uh, but it still gathers very well. So um, it'll level up your construction tools. So tomorrow when I go out and wandering around here, uh, actually about in an hour, um, I'll be using this to increase that level so that I can buy that uh, steel smithing uh, still smithing. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is empty out my inventory, uh, get ready for 6 o'clock, and then once that comes around, uh, I'll go out exploring again, and hopefully we'll have, find something north, guys. So I'll see you there uh, once I've done that. Okay, so... Sounds like I'm getting a horde here, guys. I can hear a whole ton of noises. Oh yeah, look at that, I got a wandering horde. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take care of these guys. Um, I still haven't zombie or uh, spider-proofed my base. 
Uh, so they're, they're going to try crawling up here. Um, I think they're actually going to go inside before they even try crawling up. Uh, so I'm going to have to go down there here in the morning and uh, clear these guys out. Oh, it looks like they took care of themselves. Uh, but I'm going to go down here and uh, check out this situation before I go. Uh, oh yeah, look at the size of this wandering horde. That's nice. So I'm going to have a whole bunch of loot here too, guys. So <laughs> I'm going to kill these guys off here, um, at least the ones coming at me, and then we'll go downstairs and... Uh, Clean them up. Try to get those headshots in. I don't think one's made it up here yet. <laughs> if I definitely stay here, though, I'm definitely going to want to uh, spider-proof my place. That is for sure. But I know, too, if the spiders go across the spikes, uh, just a heads up and breaks, breaks their legs, they actually cannot climb up to you. So that, that's also a, a, defin a definite benefit. Uh, looks like there's one more remaining here, so I'm going to take this guy out, and we'll go down. Oh, totally missed him. Uh, my favorite way to get headshots, guys, is to aim for the neck area. Uh, that's where I find, if you aim for the head, you actually can miss, just like that, right? So what I do is I tend to aim a little lower, and hit them right there. There we go. Okay, so let's go downstairs, guys, and uh, clean up this mess and do some looting here. Hopefully I won't fall and break my leg in the process. Whoa, these ladders trip me out. <laughs> I've fallen one too many times. I should put a few a uh, few more hay bales down there as well. Uh, so let's go take care of this mess down here. And I know a lot of you guys too are mentioning that you didn't get the seven day hordes. Um, there seems to be a, a glitch right now. Uh, with the hordes, so if you don't receive the hordes, um, I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> I guess you won't get one. Uh, on our, my multiplayer world that I do on stream, uh, we've had the same problems. We've missed our last two hordes, uh, but hopefully they'll be patching that soon if that is an actual issue. Um, the other issue could be too, if you weren't at home at 2200, uh, oh yeah, that's right, I backed up, I put some spikes in here so they're not going to give me too much uh, trouble. Uh, but if you're not at home at 2200 and a zombie sees you outside of your uh, base, um, that's where the horde will get called to. So make sure that if you do want to take on a horde, uh, make sure that you're at home at least before 2200. I recommend uh, 2130 at, at the latest, uh, just to ensure that you, you do get that horde. Uh, sweet, so I got some good ammo here from, this, uh, from these guys. I'll definitely take some of that. Uh, I don't want those pants, oh, but I took them anyways. <laughs> Let's get that out of my inventory. All right, now I'm going to put on this cowboy hat too because it's the day I don't need the light and the cowboy hat will cool me off a bit here. Uh, now, a bunch of these zombies are in my spikes, so this is <laughs> a little bit dangerous to loot, but I'm going to try to reach them anyways. Uh, uh, let's see here. Oh, and look at that. I'm hungry. I didn't even get a chance to eat. So I'm going to finish looting these guys off, go up and eat, guys, and then I'm going to start heading north and I will see you guys uh, once that happens. Oh, and one more thing here too, guys. I just found a pair of hazmat pants. I, I've seen a few questions about the hazmat wear as well too. Um, they're a pretty rare drop on zombies. Uh, so if you do find one, definitely keep them. Uh, what they do is they allow you to go into the radiation zone without damage. Uh, but you basically need the whole set of clothing. So now I got the pants. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, <laughs> once again here in a few minutes once I'm good to go. Alright, so I just ate some meat. I got my wellness now up to a whopping 115, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, I want to actually get my wellness all the way up eventually. Uh, well, how you do that is not by dying. Uh, if you look here and you go to your character, uh, you can actually tell your stats. So I have 63 zombie kills and 0 player kills and 0 deaths. So I, I hopefully can keep the 0 deaths for a while. Um, that'll be kind of my going thing. Uh, you can also tell too, like little little cool things if you look at your character. Uh, you can see your uh, kilometers traveled. I've traveled 30.72. How many items you've crafted? I've crafted 3,689 3, items, uh, which sounds like quite a bit, but I've made like a shitload of bows, or bows and arrows and everything else and tools and whatnot, so it's actually not that much. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to uh, continue on our way north. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I find something interesting uh, that we can talk about, and I will see you guys in a few moments. 
Okay, so I just found some iron boots as well here. So I'm going to go ahead and wear those. Those will help bring my uh, temperature down here as well too. Uh, now I should be able to make them as well. So uh, when I get a chance here, I'm, I'm definitely going to take that chance and make myself an iron set. Uh, so that I can go into that burning forest biome as well here too. Uh, and now I did find a road. Uh, I, if you look at the map here, I am, I've gone considerably north. Um, I do believe now this row goes up, comes around here, and then wraps back down this way. Uh, so instead of continuing north, because it's almost nighttime, and uh, well, I do have walking zombies on, uh, the classic zombie set. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just continue through the nighttime walking down this road, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to find something useful here, guys. And once again, I'll see you uh, once I've got an update. Alright guys, and welcome back. It's nighttime, and look at this guys. I have found another city, if I can open my map here. I just nicked the corner of it, and this is actually entirely exciting, because look how close it is to my other city. Like, all I had to do was go west, go up here, and there's another city right there. I still have not found any water sources. I still have not found anything but a forest biome. Uh, this is far as biome for days here, guys. But I am absolutely pumped. A whole nother city here for looting. Uh, so what I'm going to do, uh, since it's nighttime, I'm going to break myself into one of these homes. I'm going to go up into the attic. I'm going to hide out for the night. And then uh, here, guys, uh, in the morning, I'm going to head out. So uh, let's get myself to safety. Hopefully there's no one in this house. <laughs> it's really, really dark. Oh, shit. There's one right there. See what I mean? Oh, and there's a zombie right there. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I'm going to clear these guys out here, uh, get myself to a safe hiding place. Oh, there looks like a, there's a store over here. Yeah, I'm going to go on top of this building here. Uh, so uh, that looks like it may be a gas station. It is. Uh, so I'm going to go uh, and hide like a, a little bitch on top of this gas station here, guys. And I will see you in the morning. And uh, before I see you guys in the morning here, I'm also going to note too, I have some meat. Oh, I have no wood on me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is look for a container here. Ah, here we are. And I am going to put this meat in it uh, so that I don't get sensed by all the zombies. So I'm going to put that in there. There we go. Okay, cool. Now I'm hidden. So I will see you guys here shortly once it's morning time. Okay guys, so uh, I know it's not quite 6 a.m. yet here and uh, I have a whole bunch of zombies kicking around in the base. Uh, but I just looked at the amount of time I've been recording here and I've recorded about an hour and a half worth of gameplay. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end this episode here and then in episode 2 what we'll do is uh, we'll go do some more exploring. Hopefully I can find some cool shit here in this town. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoy this episode. If there's any, uh, you know, suggestions, any comments, you know, if you guys want to see me stay, you want to see me go, let let me know down in the comments guys and I do once again I want to thank you for all your likes all your support and everything else you guys have been absolutely fantastic I don't know how many times I can say that uh, so if you guys want as well to go follow me on twitch um, I do a multiplayer stream where I do invite people uh, from the stream uh, when there's a spot open and what I do is a raffle with the Z coins that you earn from watching uh, So make sure you go over to twitch follow me. I'm also on Twitter I also tweet out every time I go live or when I post a new video So if you want to be on the up and up definitely follow me on Twitter as well And uh, once again guys stay surviving keep it classy and I'll see you in the next video. Peace We're about to turn it on.